A little while ago on this channel, I talked to you guys about a game that was shaping up to be really special, unique. Because few games catch my attention, and even fewer are those that I bring to you guys on this channel. I mean, if every time that I see a shit game, which is, uh, uh, well, pretty much every day, because it's like living as an actual ass, just straight up looking at never ending shit. But if I were to bring you guys each and every game, maybe you would lose the interest because it'll be a little too repetitive. However, I'm calling this game special and unique for a few reasons. First of all, it talks to us about one of the most powerful, important, and engraved cultures of all time and human beings like the Chinese mythology. And it seeks to teach us in part their beliefs through a game that honestly I have to say looks nothing short of amazing. For those of you who don't know of which game I'm talking about and specifically to which game does the video that you're watching belongs to, it's Black Myth Wukong. And it's pretty much the first AAA quality video game fully created and developed in China. In the game we're gonna incarnate a legendary character from their mythology known as Sun Wukong. And specifically, this character comes from Chinese literature and a tale that dates back to the 16th century where they talked about the absolutely incredible travels that an apprentice had to go through in order to reach the birthplace of the Buddhist religion. It's um, definitely quite the story for those who have the time to read about it. But however, on this channel what we discuss is just straight up video games. And that's exactly what I want to talk to you guys about. The game, or better yet, the developers of the game, were actually quite silent for the last few months until only a few days ago, they released a brand new trailer showing us all the new abilities, powers, and movements that our character will have. This pretty much got my dick harder than a crocodile's back and is obviously what motivated my ass to bring you, yet again, another video of this game. So let's get this shit show started. The video starts up with an emotional message that for some people might actually just mean jack shit. However, if we think about it, when they speak of the mouse giving way to the Ogs, they're referring specifically to the Chinese years. When they speak of growing strength and talent, they're talking about their own video game developing team that only last year had just a few people working on it and was even hiring through internet in order to be able to bring this amazing game to life. And with the rest of the message, it's actually pretty clear. It's basically a small gift, I guess, from them to us, pretty much made to be enjoyed. Throughout the video, we can once again see all the abilities that our character will have when it actually comes to life. We can see the environments, locations, and places used truly bring out not only the most beautiful parts of the Chinese mythology, but also the darkest, hideous, and most dangerous places. We can see a few of the new enemies that we will have to fight, movements that we're gonna be able to do, transformations that we will be able to accomplish. I mean, in and of itself, it really is a trailer. Unlike the last video that they showed us that directly other than actual video was a real, tangible and long sample of what the game was truly gonna be as we played it. The character design and the way the enemies were made is truly something that last time also caught my attention instantly. And this time, like uh, my girl Brittany, it did it again, but even harder. Because the enemies are something that we can truly see they're working super hard in perfecting. Their movements, the way they react to our attacks, the way that they appear and face us in the places where we bust their stupid ass faces in. Something that I really loved from this trailer is that they showed us new transformations that we're gonna be able to achieve, because in case you guys didn't know, in reality, the Sun Wukong character has the ability, both in the literature and on this game, to transform into the enemies that he defeats. This means that uh, each and every boss that we manage to beat the shit out of will instantly turn into our bitch. I mean, uh, uh, not literally, although uh, well, on this case, uh, it might just actually happen. But uh, you get the point, right? We're gonna be able to transform into a version of these guys and use their powers and abilities. In the first video, we were able to see how Wukong whooped some ass. And we were also able to see how he transformed into one of them. On this new trailer, we saw new transformations like this one where he looked like the Titan Atlas that has to carry the world and this one where he pretty much turned into Master Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles if he ever banged Pikachu. And I don't know if it's some sort of a weird hidden metaphor from the developers of the game or something, but they actually show us beating the 
shit out of this mouse. And remember, the mouse was actually the animal from the Chinese cultures last year. So, uh, yeah, I guess we can say that someone didn't really like their 2020. On the remaining of the trailer, the moments honestly are as epic as they were on the 13 minute long video that they first released. And we can once again see as they emphasize in the ability that we will have to, uh, let's say, freeze our enemies in time. Which I'm thinking, as they're frozen, we're gonna be able to beat the crap out of them and when a certain amount of time passes, they might just blow up like the enemies did in Breath of the Wild. We can see that we'll have some pretty agile and cool moves and attacks because certainly we're going to be a monkey and we wouldn't want to be caught with our ass this bear. Something that I did think they could maybe improve upon is how we transform into this guy. The transition looks a little too, I don't know, basic? I think they could add a few other effects while maintaining the fact that the transition needs to be quickly done. I mean, it just, it looks generic. And I don't really remember if it looked like this on the other trailer, however, this is something that shouldn't be used to discredit the game. Because first of all, this is a trailer where they pretty much straight up welcome the Year of the Ox. They even mentioned that what they just showed us has nothing to do at all with the plot of the game. Two key points leaving us more than clear that this is really just a gift from them to us. A gift used only to excite us and ascertain the fact that if the game does cost 60 bucks, <laughs> you might just actually pay them. Something that I really liked about the game is the fact that in reality there will be a lot of different enemies bringing variety into the formula. You see, in the last gameplay they showed us enemies that ranged from the smallest sizes up to the colossal ones, showing us a huge array of possibilities. We're gonna be able to fight sourcements as agile and as strong as we are, beasts as big as buildings capable of destroying our asses with a single blow, and even enormous creatures capable of destroying entire worlds. The diversity is something that honestly looks really interesting in video games. Because when we only face and whoop the same ass every time, the game tends to get tedious and boring. I think, according to my personal experience in the games that I've played, the diversity and variety in enemies is something truly of the utmost importance, and is something that this game has managed to perfect. And just remember, the more and different bosses, the more transformations we will have. Obviously, they'd have to create some sort of a system where we discard the ones that start to bore us or something, and I'm more than sure that it would be like uh, using different swords and weapons in other games, only that instead of normal weapons, we'd be straight up changing our core abilities and arms like swords, sabers, and staffs. The game in and of itself, we can see that in both the videos I made has some pretty amazing graphics. I mean, nothing industry changing and mind bending, but good graphics without a doubt. We can see detailed textures, pretty defined and precise shadowing, and a pretty cool contrast between different colors and maps. The fire effects, explosions, and abilities is something that I also really liked. I feel that it's going through a good path, and if they continue to work on this in the way that they've been doing so for the past few months, I honestly think they might just make something really good. Obviously, like with everything, we need to take things slow and not get carried away by trailers and videos that they upload. But also, we can't just be full-on pessimists and think that every game that comes out will rip the shit out of us like Cyberbuck 2077 did. With this, we can conclude on a few things in regards to the game and the things that I want for it. First of all, I wanted to not cost a goddamn eye, since we only have two. And I want the plot to be interesting, and not just about wandering around, beating and whooping ass left and right with Master Splinter. I want them to try to tell a proper story worthy of being associated with one of the most important and relevant stories in Chinese mythology. Something that manages to stay with us even hours after we left the controllers alone or the keyboards, you know? And apart from this, I want the general gameplay, meaning the mechanics, to be fluid and entertaining. I see that they're putting some real ingenuity into the game, hard effort and work, and it would be good to see something from the Souls-like genre to actually have a decent enough story and a gameplay not that uh, mechanical. And you know that's the end of this video, I truly hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. You know this channel is actually supported by Patreon, so if you guys can and want to help me out there, the link is on the right side of the screen. Like I said before, I truly hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.